Looks like we're kicking it with B again. Alright, the reason why I wanted to react to this video is because in the title, I see that it says Sunday Chit Chat. So I'm all about deep conversations. So if she's going to be talking to us about some deep things, I'm going to talk back. Y'all ready to react? Let's get it. Welcome back. It is Sunday. It's the next fucking day. Um, yeah, I do not have a shirt on. I don't. That's okay. I'm going to tell y'all why I don't why? have a fucking shirt on. You forgot to do laundry. I'm relaxing. I am freaking relaxing. I just feel like Monday through Friday, I don't do nothing but go to work. Get out. Uh-huh. Go to sleep. All right. Wake up. Uh-huh. Do some hurt. Is that right? Go to work. For real? Get out. All that. Go to sleep. This too? Wake up. That too? Do some hurt. Got it. Go to work. Oh my Get God. Get off. <gasps> and then Sunday, Saturdays, I wake up. Do some hurt. Do some more hurt. I know. You crazy. And do some more hurt. And it's like, I don't have time to sit down. And You're I feel sitting like I'm now? only so tired because... The job that I do do, I love my job. I do. I love. Listen, before you I, talk about your job, let me tell you about mine. I work Monday through Friday, 2 to 10, 30 p.m. After work, I come and film, edit them nighttime uploads, okay? So if y'all work their shifts, y'all are the first ones to watch my videos. Okay, so I'm busy too during the week. But my weekend, I like to chill a little bit. Maybe do a video or two, but I like to chill. I get you. I just love money. I love money and my job is an easy job, but you know, it's like working out when you don't use certain muscles, your body be sore and you just be tired. So that's what's going on right now. Um, I literally work like I'm working, you know what I'm saying? So I'm I thought working, you worked out. Hands, I'm using my arms. I mean, I'm just using muscles that I don't use. And yes, I do hurt. I use my hands a lot. You know what I'm saying? So that's, adds to that because my hand already cramps up because i do so much hair so it's just like picking girl up you shit, have to going. be careful with that because of carpal tunnel that shit is real you could be doing your hair and your hand can literally just stiffen up it'll drop whatever you have in your hands you gotta be careful with that don't overuse like, your body like that I my, my hands just be sore i'm not even gonna say hurting because it's just sore my muscles are just sore that's all and so yeah that's why i'm naked <laughs> I got out the bed, really left. Uh huh. And I just ain't put no clothes on. And <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't blame you. I ain't put no freaking clothes on. You're man. in your home. And yo, it's Sunday. Mm hmm. It is 11 45 in the morning, almost 12 o'clock. And yes, I got me a drink, a lemon drop. Sounds good to me. See, listen, I can't do that. Even if I'm by myself in my house, I do not walk around naked. I do not. I don't want to sit on my furniture butt naked like that. Because right now it looks like she's sitting on her stool. I hope you wipe that shit down, girl. Because whenever you have visitors, I'm pretty sure they don't want to sit on your juices. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's your home nonetheless. Definitely be comfortable. But I hope you wipe that shit down. Just saying. So... Yeah, that's how my morning is starting off. Um, but I just feel like I don't know how to sit the fuck down. Because that's what I did, y'all. <laughs> what you do? I picked up two clients. I did. Mm. I picked up two clients. Mm -mm. I just, until, I just feel like until I get me a website and actually start. You know what you should do maybe is pick up a hobby. Like that relaxes you you know what i'm saying that puts you in the stress-free zone there's nothing wrong with continuing to work if you're bored if you just gotta want to make as much money as possible but girl i hope you're getting enough sleep because sleep is so important you know these hustlers be saying you can sleep when you're dead bitch you're gonna die early if you don't get that sleep you need to sleep you need to eat good you need to exercise you need to do all that okay all the things that i pretty much don't do but i do sleep that melatonin knocks me the fuck out. Like, be strict with my time. Because everybody always tell me, be you. Don't overdo yourself. Take time off for yourself. Which is true. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get back into every other. Even though I work now, I'm finna cut it down to not doing hair every, every day of the week. You know what I'm saying? That way I can just, you know, relax before I go to work. And then on top of that, I just feel like, I just feel like lately, being that I moved to another shelf... 
I feel like Saturdays is my only day to get my clients in. And it be so many clients that be wanting to come in while I'm at work. I just be trying to, I be cramming them all on my Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? It's like I wake up at 7 and don't get done till 7, which is cool. Right. But it's just I like I don't want to feel like I'm overdoing myself and working my body too hard. So I just feel like I really you gotta have balance to find everything. somebody. Because I found somebody to actually make me a website, but they haven't got back with me. It's oh, like no. they, mm -mm. they um, Get rid of they them. They me back, and I told them, I answered all their questions, and they just ain't got back with me. And I haven't found nobody who know how to make a website. And I'm looking for a certain type of website because I sell products, you know, I sell a product with that requires a deposit. So I need it to be, you know what I'm saying? I need it to my client. I need it to be for customers to be able to want the locks, be able to pay that deposit and then turn around. And then when it's time to pay the rest, they can pay the rest instead of, you know, yeah, I get you, but listen, if that web designer is not getting back with you and is lacking that communication, get rid of them. There needs to be a deadline. And if they're not meeting those requirements, then get rid of them. There's plenty of other people out there that you can find. She didn't hit me up, and so I just, that's really putting me on a hold with everything. Oh, hell. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See, that person's affecting your business already. See, it's okay to be patient and to take your time because this is your business. You want to perfect it before you put it out there for all your clients to get a hold of you. You obviously don't want to rush it. But all these other people that you're working with to create your business, they need to be on the same page with you. And it looks like this person is not being professional. Get rid of them. I will be relaunching Blessed by B, um, her products really soon. I'm just waiting on her. I had wanted a new logo, and I, I didn't want a new logo. I just want to, you know, update my logo a little bit because I done had it for a long time. And so everything, I'm just, I'm just being patient with myself, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just really being patient with myself. I am taking my time with everything because I don't need nothing falling back off track. Like I feel like. I got everything back in motion. Like, right. Everything is aligning. I be waking up every day thankful because just like I really manifest this life that I'm living. And it's a little bit, you know, when you, when you, when you, when you get yourself somewhere, you know what I'm saying? When you get yourself somewhere and hypothetically you, you know, when you get yourself somewhere, pretty, pretty much when you get yourself somewhere. And <laughs> this goes very tipsy. It goes to sheets. Uh huh. Uh huh. It kind of like starts to fail. And you get yourself back there it's always going to be better than the last time for sure so the last time i was really good doing good for myself my business overall my whole life it was good back then but now it is amazing like see I the, really the journey of success also involves failures you're meant to be challenged because it'll prepare you for whenever you get success i'm telling you you'll reach your goal don't you worry about it. You just got to keep on going and don't quit. I be noticing little things that I realized that in my journal when I write and, you know, I manifested these things, you know, so I'm a big manifester. That's why I got manifest on the back of my neck. Let me see. Like, I got, I got manifest. I got manifest on the back of my neck. Because I knew a long time ago, I actually, I really started to manifest my whole fucking life. And I'm just, I'm just thankful for what's really going on right now you know what i'm saying finna i'm finna hey i'm finna get on decided i wasn't gonna tell y'all just yet just have to keep watching to see what i'm getting next what you getting girl uh, let me guess a vehicle like a brand new vehicle is that what it is how you going i can't hold water you better like tell I us i really can't hold fucking water as you gotta soak up the good shit man bringing something up and not telling us the whole story girl getting us excited for no and reason and you can't forget the back because sometimes i sit back and i dwell and i reminisce on the moments where it was rough in my life because i was just telling my client i had a client from minnesota yesterday and we was having uh a deep we was having deep conversations you know what i'm saying and she was asking me certain things and i was able to you know what i'm saying help her out and got down give her some you know tell her some things 
about myself and what I was going through to help her along her journey right now because I love that I love deep conversations if y'all met me out here in the real world we're gonna have deep conversations I do not do well with small talk it's it's a waste of my time Okay. I'm an open book. I talk about my experiences, my life. And because I'm such an open book, I get people who are reserved to get comfortable and they open up and they vent and they tell me their stories. And I learned so much from it. It's crazy. I have so much sympathy and empathy towards people like and their stories. It helps me better understand others because of it. Those are the type of conversations I like. I want to learn. I want to know what in your life made you become the person you are today. I want to know. She just was venting to me, you know what I'm saying? She came in and just started venting to me, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, as a client, I want y'all to come back. So I try to open up that door for us to have a certain relationship. And I was just telling her, like, you can't forget the bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't forget them times she was just talking about how... You know, um, she was just talking about, my out-of-town client was just talking about how she, you know, fucked up shit with her family and um, how she was, you know, had a such a time in her life where she was just, you know, living out her car. You know what I'm saying? And she was just living out her car and I was just like... And she it's was crazy like, be because, trying. you know, barbers and hairdressers, they come across a lot of people and they've heard so many stories. I experience the same thing too because I'm constantly traveling and meeting different people at every job I go to. So I have somewhat of a similarity when it comes to that. But imagine the stories that they hear, like Uber drivers too, man. You hear the craziest shit. To forget those things and I was like, you can't. You can't, you can't forget the part, you can't forget the times when you were so low, you know what I'm saying? Because remembering those things, you know what it feel like to be at rock bottom. And it's like, you don't want to be there. It's like, I've been here before. I don't want to be here. So that's going to motivate you and keep you on the right path because you're going to always go back to where you used to be. What little baby say, I don't want to end up where I used to be. Yeah. That's a motto I live by. I don't give a fuck if it was... I'm a, you gonna always change, you feel me? You gonna <laughs> always go to a new level and each level gonna be remind you of a time where you was low. Like my last situation from last year, I was low. You know what I'm saying? Before that, I was low before that. And before that, I was low before that. But each time it's a different low. You uh -huh. feel me? Each time you get out of that low, you you succeed and you excel in a different way, in a different form so it's just like you can't forget those bad right moments. you grow as a person i appreciate the bad moments like but, anything that happened to me but don't just only trust in god and manifest you also have to make actions you can want something but if you're not putting in the effort you're not gonna do it you're not gonna get out of the situation that you were in so believe in god manifest but also put in the work 2023 Bro, I thank, I, I, I fucking appreciate because I needed those things. You know what I'm saying? I needed those things to mold me and make me who I am now. Like, everything that happened in 223 made me want to go harder. It made me appreciate the little things more. It mm -hmm. made me fucking want to... It made me realize that, hey, you just... You can't just be out here with a business and don't take it serious it made you realize like hey responsibilities do come first it made me realize like hey your fucked up way is gonna make you end up in a fucked up situation like are y'all watching this right now don't only listen to what she's saying look how she's delivering the message she's very passionate about this because it helped her it got her to this point so she believes in it because of it, because she experienced it herself. And she wants y'all to experience it too. So she's very passionate about this. Hey, nigga, you really can't fuck with certain motherfuckers. Like, I don't regret no bad mm. thing that ever happens to my life. Because I, Me like I told y'all a long time ago when I first started YouTube, I take something good out of a bad situation, whether it be something so small. Long as you take something good out of a bad That's situation. Right. Because every situation... Any situation is a learning experience. Facts. You're going to learn something. It is like death. You're going to learn something from that death. You know what I'm saying? So I take something out of a bad situation 
and that helps me keep going. But it's always in my back pocket because it's just like, yep. I don't want to end up, end up there. I don't want to be that person or I don't want to do those things because it, woo, 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 you know what I'm saying? So I was just telling my client, like, you, you can't force yourself to forget certain things or force yourself to forget certain people because they're no longer in your life. You got to take the good out of a person mm. and you got to keep it pushing. I be trying to tell everybody around me, don't hate nobody. Facts. Don't hate nobody. Don't be sad over a situation. That feeling hate is something that I've never felt my whole entire life. There's people I dislike, people that annoy me. But hate, though, I've never felt that. So when I see a situation like Lou and Tay, Tay looks at Lou like she's the devil. Lou looks at Tay like she's the devil. That's how I know they have not healed within themselves and they haven't forgiven each other or themselves. And they're still in that toxic mentality. When it came to my abusers, I don't hate them. I actually love them because I took the time to understand why they did the things they did and what led them to that point. I don't blame myself for their actions, but at the same time, I look deep into myself and see what it was that could have triggered them. But it's definitely, it's definitely not something that victims of abuse do not cause. I just don't got the hate in my body. Too long. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to show your emotions. It's okay to be vulnerable towards shit and people and situations. But By the way, she brought up emotions. So if you saw the video I made about OG and I called her emotional, you guys, I am too. I'm an emotional person. As humans, we are meant to feel. It's how you present your emotions, how you deliver the message, and how you express yourself that's going to come across either healthy or toxic. That's the difference. It's okay to feel that we are human. Whether it's anger, hurts, disappointment, whatever it may be, it's okay to feel. Don't try to hate them so you ain't got to feel that. You have to feel. To move on in life, to be great, you have to feel so... I was telling her, like, you can't hate nobody. You can't hate your mama. You can't hate no ex. You can't hate them just because you don't want to feel for them or nothing like that. Like, because know. that stops you from growing as a person. Because you're allowing these people to make you feel such a negative emotion. Let me give you an example. My cousin was killed when I was 19 years old and he was 18. He wasn't just a cousin. He was a brother to me. Let me give you a little background so you can understand how close we were. His mom, my mom are sisters. His dad, my dad are brothers. So his family and my family grew up together. My cousins are my siblings. He was killed from a drive-by, shot right in the heart. And the man that killed him is serving prison time. 40 years, I think it's 45 years. And you know what I did? A few years later, I wrote this man a letter. It was probably three or four pages long. And in that letter, I told him, I understand your lifestyle and what you felt was the right thing to do at the age of 16, because he was 16 at the time. Having a hard upbringing, thinking that the gang life was your family, it got you to the point that you are today. And I sympathize towards that. Because you were young, you didn't know any better. And for that, I want you to understand that I forgive you. I don't have hate for you. I want you to be a better person. I, want, I wish nothing but the best for you. And that's while you're incarcerated and when you get out. He wrote me back. It was like probably like four or five pages long. I still got that letter to this day. But I did not respond because the letter I wrote to him is not for him. It's for me. It was a way for me to heal and to move forward. And to let this person know that you have no control over my life. I'm not looking for a pen pal. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But I'm hoping that my healing also healed him in some way. Just don't got hate. You got motherfuckers that gotta learn the hard way and then boom, they don't give a fuck about a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But then you got motherfuckers that like, nigga, all it takes is one time. That's it. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is one motherfucking time. And so it's just like, you can't hate people or things or situations. You gotta take the good and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? You remember those things so you don't fall victim to be in certain situations no more. But always remember. It's okay to remember. It's okay. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to tell people, if you got hate in your body, you got to go sit with yourself. That's, that's, that's not good. And that's a fact. I can't sit here and lie to y'all like I didn't have hate in my body. <laughs> I haven't had hate in my body for so long that I found myself having hate in my body. And I knew I had to do something because you ain't finna have no power over me. That's a right. A situation, girl. people, things, if you have hate towards it, they have power over you. And nobody has the power over me but my motherfucking self. That's right. Above. You know what I'm saying?
she's speaking facts. This girl's what? How old again? I know y'all told me, but I forgot. 25, 26. I didn't learn that shit really till I hit my 30s. And when I became a parent to, to my stepchildren. I learned the quickest, the fastest during that time. Good for you, B. Yeah. All right, she's doing some self care. Showing off her body a little bit. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that food looks good. It's expensive too. Oh, I didn't even record myself. Look at Lily. I got it. Hey, can I ask y'all a question? I've never watched Lily outside of Nick and Carla's reactions. I don't know what Lily's up to. Do y'all think I should react to one of her vlogs? Comment below, let me know if I should take the time to do that. Or would it be a waste of time? Let me know. And that's it, y'all. That's it for today's video. Let me know what y'all thought. And look out for my next video, because it's coming. Peace.